At 6'2 and 201 pounds, former Jackson State defensive back Isaiah Zay Bolden is a sonic return specialist who generated a lot of buzz after running a 4.31 to 4.33 40 at his pro day. Zay ran what would have been the third fastest 40 for a defensive back in the NFL Combine, right behind DJ Turner and Jacorian Bennett. Admittedly, Zay was a huge sleeper for me despite being on my radar after participating in the NFL PA Collegiate Bowl. Well, he jumped right back on my radar just ahead of the draft when it was announced that the New England Patriots brought Zay in on a 30 visit on the very last eligible day. I circled his name several times because the Patriots are always looking for that big playmaker on special teams and as well as adding depth in their secondary. Zay looked to be the perfect late round prospect for Bill. Well, the Patriots took him in the 7th round with the 245th pick, where I gave that pick an A due to his value at that point in the draft and his versatility. Now he has to prove he can make it on the roster, and I think he has several things working for him to see the field this season and potentially become a mainstay in Foxborough. First, let's talk about his production. Zay started out his college career at Florida State, and as a redshirt freshman, he played in all 13 games, totaling nine tackles and one interception. He also contributed in special teams by serving as the team's kickoff returner. Zay then transferred to Jackson State his junior year, where he played in 10 games, totaling eight tackles. He was an absolutely overriding kick returner, averaging 36.9 yards per return, ranked first in the country, and had two kickoff returns for touchdowns. During his senior season, he played in 13 games totaling 44 tackles, 30 solo tackles, 2.5 tackles for loss, and 1 fumble recovery. In coverage, Bolden had 7 pass breakups. Now, let's move on to measurables. At his pro day, Zay revealed he was a freak athlete where he was measured in at over 6'2 and over 200 pounds. His 40-yard, 4.33, 98th percentile. 20 yard was 2.59, his 10 yard was 1.54. His 20 yard shuttle was 4.63, his vertical was 38, his broad was 10 foot 9. This gave us a cornerback RAS of 9.24 and a free safety RAS of 9.27. The 6 foot 2 Zay is cherished on account of his length, speed, and versatility. He can track receivers from side to side, line up in the slot, and play both sides of the field. It appears that Zay spent most of his time in the slot at Jackson, which might have been due to his talents. However, quicker receivers were able to gain an upper hand on the stem as he struggled to get his feet under him. Zay's size and straight line speed definitely are better suited for the boundary, or free safety due to his measurables. Overall, he has a solid skill set for a D-back. He does a good job of taking on and shedding blocks, but needs to get his feet running sooner in coverage. Bolden's instincts are underappreciated and has a great feel for zone coverage. He is sneaky and can bait the quarterback to throw the lesser route where Bolden can easily defend or make a move on it. He's more than just a kick returner. So how will the Patriots use him? Well, the obvious is that he can be a solid kick returner and also work special teams coverage. I like having Marcus Jones as an explosive returner but I think we are going to need him on defense this year and possibly occasionally on offense if Demario Douglas cannot fulfill Jones' role in that package. Bolden was one of the best kick returners in college football, so I think it would be a smart move to put him in there to limit Marcus's snaps and exposure to big hits. In addition, Bolden would be a great prospect for special teams coverage. That 4.340 speed would make returners second guess their return strategy. Beyond special teams, I think Bolden is a perfect project player for the Patriots right now. He covered the slot last year, but he's built for the boundary. Sounds like the perfect safety conversion for me. Or even better, Zay could become one of those positionless defenders. Or just a D-back if you want to say that. I have been discussing how the Patriots have several hybrid players on their defense, including Duggar and Phillips, and now Marte Mapu. However, I think Zay could be another one of these players if he applies himself. Why? Well, his time at the slot corner responsibility was a bit confusing for me while he was at Jackson State. But that could work out for Bolden at the NFL level because the growing trend of larger slot receivers. The slot receiver is no longer limited to the Wes Welker type. But 
now has the Joker tight ends and big body receivers. So this causes a mismatch against smaller corners. This can force a larger, stronger safety to cover that larger slot back. But that can clearly lead to other issues. Well, having a larger player like Bolden will allow him to play at the slot role on bigger targets. And his speed will keep him in the game with faster receivers. Yes, I bet a bunch of you are thinking about our overloaded secondary and finding a place for him on the defense with all of that talent. Well, yeah, I am certainly not advocating for putting Bolden out there over Duggar, Phillips, Mills, Peppers, the Joneses, or any of the other D-backs right now. Still, most of these names I just listed are up for a contract this year, and most of the rest are up for the following season. Meaning, you need to have some depth ready, and Bolden could be the answer. If he's on for special teams, he might get a shot out there on defense every once in a while, especially in the three high safety packages where Duggar is playing center and you need a sonic D-back covering the ground deep and can be quickly deployed to provide support. This will be key because having Duggar in the middle will allow him to essentially be able to engage a ball carrier unblocked. Many defenses don't account for safeties in blocking, so Duggar, if left unblocked, will be able to make tackles at the line of scrimmage. Moreover, having Duggar deep in the middle of the field, the Patriots can cover any post or in-breaking routes. Furthermore, three high safety defenses can easily be altered into a 3-4 structure. By moving the middle safety up allows the Patriots defenses to be flexible and getting in and out of the 3-4 and 3-3 look. Bringing it back to Bolden and having him remain deep will help Duggar in that hybrid bullet safety role to keep the offenses restrained in the middle of the field. Or you could bring Bolden up to cover the big slot or tight end rather than having Duggar being forced to take on that responsibility. Again, allowing Duggar to maintain his position in the middle of the field. The other clear advantage would be having a sonic player at safety would diminish the impact of the air raid concepts because a fast defender like Bolden won't be stressed in the conflict immediately, deflecting the pressure back on the offense to make a move before the pass rush gets to the QB. What is more, having a fast safety would ease the deep threat Keep in mind, the Patriots do not have anyone on their defense that has Bolden's combination of size and speed. Overall, Bolden would be an interesting player to develop into more than just a special team. So what will Zay need to work on? Well, first, he would have to get up to speed and learn the Patriots' defense. That might be an obvious box to check off, but the Patriots are notorious for having complex systems that require a certain type of player and a whole other level of commitment. Will Bolden step up to the challenge? Then, Bolden will have to work on his man coverage game, work on his hips and feet to help stick to the receivers. Another thing to consider, can Bolden contribute to stopping the run game? Again, something that is essential to be playing on the Patriots defense. Why should Patriots fans care? Indeed, the Patriots have a stacked defense and it will be overflowing this season. So, there is little demand or space for Bolden to possibly make it on the field to play a snap on defense. In fact, I'm not sure there will be space on the roster for him, period. But I will reiterate the strong need for depth and having replacements in reserve for the next few years. I will point out that Mills, Slater, Bryant, Davis, and Duggar are all up for contract this coming year. It is likely at least one of these guys is not returning. What is more, a lot of the potential replacements like Randall, Mosley, Hawkins, and Tay Hayes are up for contract this coming year as well. Then, in 2025, you got Jonathan Jones, Adrian Phillips, and Peppers up. So this leaves like Josh Bledsoe, Schooler, Amir Speed, and Bold to fill some of those spots. Schooler already seems to be a valued member of the special team, so perhaps he's a solid replacement for Slater. Mapu could address the potential loss of Duggar. Bledsoe maybe could address Peppers in terms of filling a spot on the roster. Chris Board and Jordan Helig could replace Cody Davis. Maybe Speed can bring some depth to the secondary. But, but we are looking at a lot of potential holes over the next couple years. So, it is in the Patriots' best interest to develop Bolden and Amir Speed as much as possible. Can they? Of course they can. Developing D-backs is what the Patriots are best at. Seriously, the Patriots have an incredible track record of consistently developing D-backs 
with some of them being UDFAs. So I don't see why they can't develop Bolden. I think, in fact, I think it's almost necessary that you develop Bolden because if the defense has a solid year, you're going to have a lot of guys showing up to Bill asking for a bump in salary. It would be nice to know if Bolden was a viable option as a death piece on defense, just in case Bill wants to let them walk. At the minimum, Bolden could be a solid special teams player, which is something of value. Remember, special teams caused us to lose more than one game last year. So yeah, Pats fans should have an interest in Bolden's development on special teams and potentially on the defense. Let's hope Zay does too. So what do you guys think about Zay Bolden? Do you think he'll make the team? Is he just a kick returner? Will he be on special teams coverage? Can he contribute to defense? Let me know in the comment section below. If you like my content, please like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.